In this video, we're going to talk about image windows. Each window has the usual buttons in the upper right corner, Close, Maximize, and Shade. When we click the Shade button, the window rolls up into its title bar, so the title bar is the only part of the window left on screen. The Maximize button enlarges the image to fit the whole screen. Remember, we can control the maximization limit so that we always have a space reserved for the icons. When we maximize, the Windows Control buttons move to the upper right corner of the screen. If we click on the Normalize button, the window returns to its previous size. There's an extra button in PixInsight called Iconize. Clicking this button makes the image window as small as it gets. It turns it into an icon that we can move over to the right. This is very useful when we have a lot of images open and we don't want them to take up too much space on the screen. When we hover the cursor over the icon, we can see a preview of the image with its basic data. We can de-iconize the window by double-clicking it. There are four buttons in the bottom left of the image window. The first button, Fit View, adjusts the window to the current zoom level. Let's zoom out to see how this works. If we click the button now, the window resizes to match the image size. The second button, Zoom to Fit, resizes the window to the maximum zoom factor our screen resolution allows without needing scroll bars. This is the maximum zoom, but if we click the third button, Zoom to Optimal Fit, the window is automatically resized with a zoom factor that enables us to see the image well without it occupying too much of the workspace. Finally, we have the 100% Zoom button. The image window also has a side tab. This is the main view selector. The main view is the one that contains the complete image, in another video, we talk in more detail about previews, which appear in the View Selector tray when we create them so that we can have several views in a single image window. We can change the main view's identifier. The identifier is important when we want to refer to a specific image within the program. If we double-click, a pop-up appears where we can change the identifier. Here, for example, we can call it M31, or simply Image 1, or whatever is best for our purposes. Another important feature of image windows is the Readout Preview. If we click anywhere on the image, a pop-up window appears with a high zoom level. We can inspect the image by moving the cursor. The Readout Preview window shows the pixel coordinates and pixel value at the cursor position. If the image already has an estrometric solution, the readout preview also shows the equatorial coordinates of the current position. This is useful if we want information about an object. Imagine that we didn't know which galaxy this was. Obviously, it's M110, but imagine that we didn't know that and we want to know what this object is. We hover the cursor over the nucleus of the galaxy and note down the coordinates. Now we open the PixInsight browser and go to a database like Simbad and do a search by coordinates. We type in the coordinates of the galaxy's nucleus. Then we define the search radius, for example, 10 arcseconds. 
and M110 appears here at the top of the results. If we click on it, the database loads all the Galaxy data, as well as cross-references to other databases. There are various keyboard and mouse shortcuts we can use to navigate images in PixInsight. We can change the zoom level by scrolling the mouse wheel forward or back. The zoom is always centered on the cursor position. We can also zoom in and out by pressing Ctrl and plus or minus. We can also zoom in on a specific area using the keyboard, pressing Ctrl, Shift, and Space to draw a rectangle on the image. Once we've zoomed in, we can pan by pressing the spacebar, left-clicking, and moving the mouse. We can also pan by pressing the mouse scroll wheel and moving the mouse. We can select a specific zoom level using the keyboard. If we press Ctrl-0, we get the image in zoom to fit. If we press Ctrl-1, it zooms to 100%, Ctrl-2, 200%, and so on, 300, 400, 600, and 800. To view the complete image again, we press Ctrl-0.